contour lines define an edge or a form. Value is the lightness or darkness of a hue. Hue is just another way to say color. Hi friends, welcome to Art with Soto. These are the materials that we're going to need for our project today. We're gonna need some sort of paper. Now, I, you could use anything really. You could use the back, cut out the back of a cereal box. You can use a piece of white paper if you have white paper or the back of a bag of a paper bag. Any kind of paper that you have will work fine for our, our assignment. If you have white paper, you can see things a little bit better, but any kind of paper. In now I'm going to work today with, um, with the back of the cardboard box. You also need some utensils that you can trace. I got these from the kitchen. Some simple things that you can trace around a, a lid and something to color with, or even just a pencil. If you don't have anything to color with, a pencil will be fine but you can have some crayons or some color pencils. Those will work too. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace the contour line of some of these items. I am going to put the item on my paper or cardboard or whatever I have. Keep my pencil straight up like this. I'm not going to bend it around. I'm going to keep it straight up, standing up like a ballerina and I'm going to trace carefully around my items. There's one. You can arrange it however you want. You could place them in different parts of your paper and you don't have to include the whole item. You can include part of it as well. A spoon is a little bit tricky because it's hard to hold down, but I like the shape of the spoon, so I'm gonna try to make the shape of a spoon. Then I move my hand over here and trace this part. It's tricky, but I like it. I have a lid. Now make sure some of these items overlap. You see how part of it is overlapping the other um, object? Now, one more. The next part is value. What is value? Value is how dark or how light a hue is. A hue is just another way to say color. So now I'm going to use whatever I have, color pencils or crayons or even just a pencil to color in my composition with different values, meaning different parts where it's light and where it's dark. And I can see that it created a lot of shapes. So I can even start with just a pencil, look. All right, I'm gonna go for the spoon. Now, I don't have to color the whole spoon the same with the same value. Do you see how the lines that overlap make different shapes? I am going to use all those shapes to guide me on this exercise. So. I want this piece of the spoon to be a really dark value. But maybe the next piece right here, I want it to be a lighter value. This takes patience, I know, but I know you guys can do it. If I go over it the other in the other direction, it makes it a little bit darker. See that? 
that's a little bit lighter than that. That's very dark, it's a little bit lighter. Maybe I want this part here to be much lighter. So I'm going to go over it just like this. And I'm going to cross it a little bit and make it a little bit darker. The trick is to not have two of the same values on the shapes touching each other. So this one is different than this one is different than this one. And I have to make that one a little bit different. For this one, I think it should be really light because the other ones, so it can be different than the other ones. One, two, three, four, that's four different values. Now I'm going to continue doing the rest of my shapes, but I have some crayons. If you want a dark value, you're going to push harder with your drawing tool. And if you want a light value, you're going to be a little more gentle. All right, now, you can do that with pencils as well. And there you go, friends. Contour line of kitchen utensils overlapping with different value. And lastly, if you want your contour drawings to pop out more, you can go over your lines with a black crayon or a Sharpie.